stronger than a heavy duty connection? Blood, flesh and bone connection. What about jeans? Oh, they are strong too, yeah. I take it after my mom. <laughs> well, as you can see in TME, uh, TME is a family business, so we see strong connection, bad connection, and they are growing and very supportive of each other. Do you know who else? Me. Except you? I don't know, but I'm sure... It's not sure about you, it's about our partners. I thought Think it's about always it. about me. No, okay, about partners. No, 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 but I know you will tell me. Harting. Harting is a family business, and we will hear from them in the next interview. We are at Harting Stand with uh, Mr. Christopher. Christopher, could you tell me what we are going to hear from you today? First of all, a very warm welcome here at Harting Booth at Munich Electronica. Hello to everybody. Yeah, it is exhibition time and we have a lot of new products I want to show you. And let's move to the booth and let's have a look at the products we present today and the next days here in Munich. All right. So this is the single per Ethernet SparkFun Micromod development board, which was a cooperation between different leading technology companies. And so we see here um, a data transmission over single per Ethernet based on the 10-base T1L standard. And this means we can achieve transmission lengths of, of up to 1,000 meter and data rates of up to 10 megabit per second. So we from Harding has developed a completely new connectivity for single per Ethernet, which is suitable and capable for transmissions, data transmission from 10 megabit per second up to 10 gigabit per second. And we have here a demo application between two different SparkFun boards with a vibration sensor. So this is an open platform and for developers to evaluate this technology. And so we can see here visualized on the screen, so right now, no vibration occurs. And if now um, vibrations are detected via the vibration sensor, we will see these vibrations will be detected on the screen and we will be visualized with a red screen. So, and this is to show that the technology is ready to use so companies and developers can start to implement and evaluate this technology and build up first applications with single per Ethernet and can show and look all the benefits of this technology and can implement it in their applications. Yeah, basically our newest invention uh, within the Han modular portfolio are our domino modules. Um, you can see here an example of the usage of the domino modules. So the main um, topic that we wanted to address for the customer was to uh, raise the flexibility and um, make it possible with the use of the domino modules to lower the size of the connector and um, make it possible to use the connector maybe in spaces where it wasn't possible before. Um, as I said, the flexibility has been, uh, has been raised quite a lot. Uh, the new domino cubes are fully compatible with the existing products that we have. Uh, meaning you can use it within the existing hinge frames and also the docking frames. So it's a very nice addition to our portfolio and uh, we are just at the beginning and uh, the portfolio will be growing in the next upcoming years and uh, yeah, we are looking forward to that. Great Finn, that is a really exciting application and a, a really high level product and modularization, miniaturization is one of the topics we are focused on here. Yeah. And here you can see in a bigger one how it can be used and uh, the flexibility is, is very high here with this product. I would like to start on, on this plate here um, and show you the modular system. It's a new connector system which is allowing you, the customer to combine any of different modules to for his configuration for board-to-board -board connection. So for angled male, straight female, and straight male. So you can do mezzanine applications or you can have the wide angled one. And the, what is brand new is our data module here. Um, and the data module includes a, a two-pin module for SPE transfer, transfer or an eight-pin module uh, shielded for the Ethernet transfer from PCB to PCB. So it's a brand new um, part allowing the customers to 
transfer Ethernet from board to board directly without having any cable industry. Oh, this is actually a double one? This is a double one, yes. Um, another new stuff which is, uh, will be launched uh, very soon, it's for mezzanine applications. Mm -hmm. So the customer can have multiple lines of uh, these high modular rows um, um, combined so that uh, even if he's using it in the mezzanine, the, he doesn't get in, in trouble with any uh, incoherency. If you um, have a connector um, solder to a PCB, it can always be soldered on the right or on the left side of inside the holes. And if you solder it on the bottom side outside and then the top side inside, then you get trouble or can get trouble with, mm -hmm. the, with the mating. To avoid this, we are combining these diff different rows um, with this uh, small adapter. Then. Yeah, so actually on the PCB, when I am designing a PCB, yeah. yes, uh, this allows me more options and uh, uh, to integrate more connections in one smaller exactly, place. Exactly what you, what you need to transfer. You can have it in, um, a few signals, a few power, um, a little bit of data and uh, coaxial contacts, high voltage contacts. Is it, is it uh, the um, T1? Uh, um, no, this no, is it's the SP? It's, it's, um, it's not the, the SPE, it's a similar one. It, this one is for t transfer from board to board. The, um, but the, this type of connector? Yeah, this oh, oh. Is, it's for only for board to board. Mm -hmm. The T1 is for cable to board connection. Aha, okay. That's a, the big difference and it's not mating compa compatible due to some uh, technical reasons that it's not possible to have this. And everyone mating. can order them yes. and build them by themselves? Yeah. Can we build one? Uh, <laughs> yes, we can yeah. go, go okay. to the desk there and build, some, build one, yeah? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, what are the tools and uh, what do we need the, to... The, the, the only tool you need is this small one. It's for male and female. So, you put it on just on the table. Then you put all the parts you want to have assembled um, one by one onto this tool. One second, what, what are those? These are the, the guide pins. Um, they made with these guide pins on the female side and they are securing that uh, you always um, have uh, connect in the right way. That's why these are needed besides the modules themselves. And you can easily put the um, part here in, inside and then you click it in and fix it. Can I try? Absolutely. Yes. Sure, please. Can Do I it on the other side? If I will, no, oh. it's on this one, okay. Yeah. So, Just okay, so those on. dots, those dots are going over here? Yeah. Okay, so just one and two? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And then you push it in. Oh, okay, nope. Okay. All right, Done. so we, we, we have it. Done. Great, Alexander. Good for prototyping yeah. also. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Especially for prototyping. Of course, for serious production, we offer the pre-assembled connectors based on a, on a minimum wall of quantity between 100 and 400 pieces, depending on the length of the connector. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. It was uh, lovely. Thank you. So now we are at the e-mobility area at our booth. And here we have an ID4 from Volkswagen. And together with Harting, we have the Guinness World Record. That means we have an altitude of 5,860 meters by a full electric car powered by Harting. Christian, <laughs> please come here. Christian. Yes. Christian is our expert for e-mobility. Tell us. Yes, as Christian what was already, the challenge here? already indicated, uh, this is the original world record car, uh, which reached the maximum altitude for an electric car. Um, in Bolivia and Chile a few yeah, weeks ago or months ago, to be honest. And yeah, this is our main sample which we have here to attract the customer on the first time. And now let's move a little bit further. So if we stay inside the car, we have here a small uh, example of Harting actuators. These are basically at this time small magnets which are yeah, located in the steering wheel, for example, or in the lock of the fueling tank. On the second part, we have our new car inlet, CCS2, for automotive OEMs. 
This is an engineering sample. It will be released within the next year. If we move a little bit further, we have here um, a demonstrator of a wall box where we show our abilities within the charging device. So on the one side we have our charging outlets, mechanical locking and magnetic locking. We have some PCBs inside where we show our abilities to yeah, connect the sockets, to connect the charging cables directly to the PCB, to connect the different PCB. Uh, so in this case, we are showing as an example uh, our abilities in the field of PCB connection inside a wall box. Yeah, staying at the wall box, here we have two wall box samples, two of our customers where we work together, where we in this case provide the charging cable and the charging connector. We have a wall box from the company Desoni. This is a so-called smart wall box, so you can actively uh, control and actively supervise the charging process in this case. On the other side we have a wall box which is let's say not very smart but of course you can also charge your car with this wall box. You simply plug it in and because of the communication between the wall box and the car the battery is charged till 100% and then the charging procedure automatically stops. To have a complete overlook about the products we are providing on a charging station or a wall box Let's take this sample from the company Nidex. So here you can see again the charging cable with an open end, which can be mounted directly on the charging station. We have the charging connector. We have the plug holder where you can store the connector very easily. And last but not least, we have the type two charging outlet for wall boxes and charging station simply to plug in the mode three cable, which is also delivered from Harting in the trunk, for example, of this car. Thank you very much. Christian, thank you. A great topic, e-mobility. Yeah, that was our short tour through the exhibition booth here at Harting Electronica. Thank you very much and see you. Bye.